Okay, so let's learn the system, how to learn dancing and or how to teach somebody else. So it all depends on, on the goals which you have for people or for yourself. So first of all, you have to learn material, basically the, the steps you're going to do. And second, it's you have to make them look good. So first we learn material is what we do, and then we focus on how we do. So let's do an example of, let's say, cha-cha-cha. So when we learn cha-cha-cha dance, number one, what we have to learn is the material, how to do a basic walk, the more simple way of doing cha-cha-cha. So it's going to be like this, together, together, cha-cha side, together, together, cha-cha side. So here, when we learn um, basic, just the structure, we don't need to say timing, we don't need to focus how we do it, how much actions, it all doesn't matter. So it's only a matter what we do. So we're going to call steps. Call steps meaning what I'm doing. So I'm doing together or in place together. Then I go, I can say side, together, side. Then we repeat together, together, side, together, side. So it's very clear for you. It will be very clear for other person if we teach, if it's for teaching purpose. So let's try it again. So we're learning the structure together, together, side, together, side together, together, side, together, side. So we're not trying to hear overload person on ourselves with the timing or with the technique, just the basic structure. The same we can apply, let's say, learn one more step. We say, we can go back, front, side, together, side. We go front, back, side, together, side. Or we can take it next level. We can even explain that it will be a rock step. So we're rocking. Rock, step, tree, pull, step, rock, step, tree, pull, step. So we only focus on what we do. So it's a very good idea when you explain or you learn what you do. You know the elements of dance. So the elements, what are the elements? There is a walks. You can walk in place. You can walk forward. You can walk backward. You can walk side. There is a triple step, where so you do three steps to the side, three steps to other. There is a rock step, where you're just rocking in between legs. There is taps, when you're just tapping, 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 and tapping. So when you know elements of dance, it's a little bit easier to learn more patterns. So let's do it again. So we have a rock, step, tree, pull, step. We have a rock, step, tree, pull step or let's say let's learn step number three without technique anything let's say we're going rock step tree pull side and then we go the same rock step tree pull side and only once we already familiar with the structure let's say we learn three step we learn a fifth position break a basic step and basic in place then we can go to the next level which is already timing and rhythm so what is the rhythm so rhythm is a slows and quicks. Timing is uh, when we count numbers. So let's do with the rhythm first. We go slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. So here already person or you by yourself, you learned for yourself, you already know how fast, how slow to do movements. The same here when you do rock step. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, Quick, slow. So you see, already we have level two, where we already feel the rhythm of the step. We can start not only calling the step, saying this is a rock step, this is a tr triple step. We're already talking in terms of rhythm and musicality. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. The next level is with the timing, is when we count, put count on music. We can say two, thirty. Four and one, two, three, four and one. Or our first movement, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one. So this is already to me next level. When we just with the numbers, we can go through the movements. And this is when you dance all. When you dance with the partner, of course, another priority will be to always learn connection, dance together. Now we dance solo, so we're gonna go through these levels. So already we can call the movement. We can say when we're going back, side, triple steps, whatever. We can uh, we learn already rhythm. This is a slow. This is a quick. This is a quick, quick, slow. And we learn timing. So the next already we're moving already more like how we're dancing. 
make it look pretty. So here it's very important, always start learning from the feet to the top. So you have your foot action, you have your something happens to your knees, you have your hips, you have body, and then you have, let's say, arm style. And the last is already uh, emotional involvement, expression, and presentation. That's like the already very last one. But the first, of course, it has to be paid attention to the feet. So what is, let's say we do Latin or rhythm, what is number one? It's to understand that we always have this turnout, natural turnout position. That will be number one quality. Because if you can dance all the step in turnout position, it's already a very good, big improvement for yourself and for the students you do. Yes, yeah, so instead of six position here, we learn turnout. And I like to teach people turnout like this. So I just do many times turnout like a small drill. So the best way to teach anything or to learn anything is to drill it for many times. See if you open, close. If you do it like for a couple of minutes, then you have idea that what it, these two positions are different. And now you can stand this leg on the one leg. And here I would normally pay attention to so how tight is the ankles together, how tight ankles together. So there is no gap. There is no gap. More, more, yeah, it has to be more tight. Very good. Like this. And then I teach people change weight in place. Yeah. So here already two qualities we have. Natural turnout and we have tightness between feet. And we can try this already doing steps and focus only on this, on the one quality. Because we already know the rhythm, quick, quick, slow, and then we already know the, the step itself. So now we focus on quality, how we do it. So natural turnout and ankle touching. So we go two, three, then you go aside, cha. So it doesn't matter our body weight, anything. Just the, the fact that the feet are naturally turned out, not here, already will be good for us. Cha, cha, I say feet turn out, and now when I push off, Cha, you see, foot is turned out, so it's never here. So it's already we work on how we dance. And it's, for people, it's very interesting to learn, and for you, it's also very interesting, because even you're on a very high professional level, sometimes you miss just this simple quality. Sometimes this foot goes here, this foot goes here. Then we go side. Cha, cha, and one. Also, we can start paying attention to the footwork. So what is the footwork? Footwork is, um, what is our foot? How our foot landing? So is it we can have a toe when our foot travel, then we have a ball, then we have a heel. Again, so normally when the foot travels, is a toe, ball of the foot, then heel. So we have three positions, but we're not always using all three. So let's say if we do cha 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 here, we have a ball, heel, ball, heel. Now we have ball, heel. Now here I like to have only ball of the foot ball of the foot and I, there will be a moment or two ball of the feet together and now here we land ball heel so here as you drag your foot of course you have some like sense of inside edge of the of the toe then you have ball heel ball heel ball heel ball ball heel so this already more precise footwork and this already pretty high level to dance like this so now we're going to the rock step. So we have a always our foot we drag on the floor with the inside edge. And this is already could be a next quality that how we move foot. Uh, so we our feet not going up, we always have a contact with the floor. We drag our foot back, ball heel, ball heel, and triple step. Ball heel, ball, ball heel. The same here. And so, and here, uh, pay attention that as we move our foot forward, it's maintained. Keep your natural turnout. Foot doesn't go here. Ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, ball, heel. And I want you to look at the basic steps, not just something what you're going to dance or perform, but something where you're going to practice your skills, your skill set. Because in these steps, it's much easier to practice your natural turnout and the way your feet moving. So this is the best step, because once you learn something more complicated, then you will think more about step rather than how you're doing that step. So already have a few qualities. So next, what we can start already learning is understanding the knee action. When we straight knee, when we bend knee. So most of the time when our foot moving, the knee is bent. As our foot landing, the knee is straight. In rhythm, the knee straightening slightly later. In uh, la 